In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on September 21st, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. UCLA vs LSU The UCLA Bruins will travel southeast on Saturday to Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana to face the 16th ranked LSU Tigers. The Bruins enter this contest with a record of 1-1, following a tough home loss to Indiana last week in what was their first ever game in the Big Ten Conference. Meanwhile, the LSU Tigers boast a 2-1 record after edging out South Carolina in a closely contested 36-33 victory. Both teams will be looking to gain momentum as they enter the next phase of their seasons. This matchup may not turn out to be a pleasant one for the Bruins. Their offense, which currently ranks 110th in the nation, has struggled to produce points and will likely find it difficult to exploit LSU's defense, which, while average, is more than capable of handling UCLA's limited attack. On the defensive side, the Bruins have major issues of their own as they've allowed too many big plays through the air, ranking 94th nationally in pass defense. Facing LSU's potent passing game will only add to UCLA's problems. To make matters worse, the Bruins will be contending with a raucous crowd at Tiger Stadium, notorious for its intense atmosphere, along with hot and humid conditions that could further wear down an already banged up UCLA roster. The young Bruins team is heading into a physically demanding environment for their second consecutive Executive challenging game, this time against LSU at Tiger Stadium. LSU has been dominant at home, having won 11 straight games at Tiger Stadium, with their last loss coming on October 8, 2022. This impressive home streak includes an overtime win against Alabama during that span. Saturday's matchup will mark LSU's first major home game of the season, with their only prior home win being a blowout against Nichols State. UCLA, with its inexperience, will likely struggle to overcome the hostile conditions at Tiger Stadium. This game features the largest point spread UCLA has faced all season, and if Indiana had played the Bruins on the road, they would have easily covered the spread. LSU, which has converted 41% of its third down attempts against tough competition, will look to unleash its dynamic offense to light up the scoreboard in front of its home crowd. LSU appears ready to make a statement in this game, and unfortunately for the Bruins, it will come at their expense. Don't let the large point spread deter you, so the LSU Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. LSU's first three games of the season have averaged a total of 60 combined points thanks to their explosive offense, which can score in bunches and a sometimes vulnerable defense. The odds makers have set the total at 56 points for this game, which seems to be giving too much credit to UCLA's offense. While the Bruins did manage to score against Hawaii, they only put up 13 points last week at home against Indiana. In the hostile environment of Tiger Stadium, it will be even more difficult for them to replicate, let alone exceed, the those numbers. LSU's defense is due for a strong performance, and this game provides the perfect opportunity for them to bounce back. Given UCLA's struggles, neither of their previous games this season would have gone over this total, and LSU alone won't score enough to push the total past 56. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Tennessee vs. Oklahoma One of the premier matchups in college football this week features a battle between two ranked Southeastern Conference powerhouses on the field, set to take place in the Sooner State. The number 6 Tennessee Volunteers hit the road to face the number 15 Oklahoma Sooners in what promises to be a thrilling showdown on Saturday night. Tennessee comes into this game riding high after a dominant 71-0 victory over Kent State last weekend, a game where they easily covered the massive 49-and-a-half point spread. Meanwhile, Oklahoma is also coming off a victory, having defeated Tulane 34-19 at home, where they too managed to cover as 13-point favorites. Historically, the Sooners have had the upper hand in this series, boasting a 3-1 all-time record against Tennessee, including a 31-24 victory on the road in their most recent meeting on September 12, 2015. 
It's a rare sight to see Oklahoma as a home underdog, especially by more than a touchdown. In fact, the last time the Sooners were underdogs at home was back in 2016, when Ohio State, led by J.T. Barrett, decisively beat Baker Mayfield and the Sooners in Norman as short favorites. To find a game where Oklahoma was a home underdog by seven or more points, you'd have to go all the way back to 1998, when the Sooners upset Texas Tech as seven-point underdogs. In the past 25-plus years, Oklahoma has only been a home underdog five Five times, making this week's game one of the toughest challenges the Sooners have faced at home in quite some time. Tennessee heads into this high-stakes Southeastern Conference showdown with a wave of momentum, having obliterated their opponents by a combined score of 109-13 over the first three weeks of the season. Quarterback Nico Iamelava is already receiving significant Heisman Trophy buzz, and for good reason. Despite barely playing after halftime in two of the team's first three games, Iamelava has already accounted for seven total touchdowns. However, Saturday's contest in Norman will present the toughest environment the redshirt freshman has faced so far. The same holds true for Oklahoma's defense, which ranks as one of the best in the country. Anchored by linebacker Danny Stutzman, the Sooners' defense ranks in the top 20 in several key metrics, including expected points added per rush, expected points added per dropback, and net points per drive. Additionally, Oklahoma excels on early downs and inside the 40-yard line. It's hard to imagine Tennessee's high octane fast-paced offense achieving the same level of success they've enjoyed against lesser competition. On the flip side, Oklahoma's offensive line has been a significant concern, particularly in their game against Chilean last week. While the passing game left much to be desired, the Sooners were effective on the ground, especially when quarterback Jackson Arnold either ran by design or scrambled for big gains. Arnold's ability to improvise will be crucial against Tennessee's defensive front, which will look to apply heavy pressure in passing situations. The key for Oklahoma's passing attack, which ranks 117th in pass success rate and 60th in expected points added per dropback, will be getting the ball out quickly and limiting pressure from Tennessee's defensive line, led by James Pierce Jr. Once the Sooners cross into opposing territory, they've shown efficiency in finishing drives, and they will need to be methodical and deliberate to keep Tennessee's potent offense off the field. Despite being underdogs, the market may have overcorrected in favor of Tennessee. So the Oklahoma Sooners to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Tennessee has gone over the total in all three of their games this season. The Volunteers combined for 72 points in their win over Chattanooga, 61 points in their victory against NC State, and 71 points in their route of Kent State, each time exceeding the projected total. On the other hand, Oklahoma has stayed under the total in two of their three games. The Sooners' wins against Temple and Houston both stayed below the projected number, but they edged past the total in their victory over Tulane last week. Despite Tennessee's offensive firepower, it's unlikely that they will hang 40-plus points on Oklahoma in this matchup. Ayame Lava is undoubtedly a rising star at the collegiate level, but he's still a young quarterback bound to experience growing pains. He's already thrown two interceptions against inferior competition, so it's unlikely that he will dominate against Oklahoma's stout defense. While Tennessee's offense is good enough to score points, I don't see them reaching the 35-plus point mark in this game. Oklahoma's defense has been excellent, allowing just 11 points per game against football bowl subdivision opponents, which ranks 11th in the country. Meanwhile, Tennessee's defense has been equally impressive, giving up just five points per game against football bowl subdivision teams, which ranks third nationally. The main issue for Oklahoma is the lack of a dynamic rushing attack. Their quarterback is their leading rusher with 159 yards on 36 carries, averaging 4.4 yards per carry. If the Sooners become one-dimensional, it could spell trouble for their offense. That being said, I expect Oklahoma to keep this game within one possession, although I don't anticipate them scoring into the 30s. We've already seen some sharp betting action move the total down a couple of points, and I expect it to drop closer to 55 by kickoff. As mentioned earlier, Oklahoma's best chance for success is by methodically moving the ball down the field and keeping Tennessee's offense off the field. Additionally, Oklahoma's coaching staff, led by Brent Venables, will likely throw a variety of new defensive looks at Iamelava to confuse the young quarterback in his first true road start. On the other side, Tennessee's defense has been stellar so far, and while there are some concerns about their secondary as they head into the heart of Southeastern Conference play, their defensive line is capable of generating pressure and creating havoc. 
havoc. It might take some time for both offenses to find their rhythm in this game. Fading Tennessee's offense and betting the under is certainly a nerve-wracking proposition, but I believe the game script that sees Oklahoma keeping things close also aligns with the total staying under the projected number. Ultimately, I foresee this game ending with a score in the range of 28 to 24 or 31 to 24, making under the projected total our full game total pick. Bowling Green vs. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical We're set for an exciting non-conference matchup on the gridiron as a team from the Mid-American Conference faces off against a Southeastern Conference program deep in the heart of Texas. The Bowling Green Falcons hit the road to square off against the number 25 Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies this Saturday night. Bowling Green enters this contest following a bye week, having lost a hard-fought battle on the road to number 8 Penn State in their previous game on September 7th. Despite the 34 20 27 defeat, the Falcons managed to cover the spread as 34-point underdogs. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical, on the other hand, is coming off an impressive 33-20 road victory over Florida last Saturday, covering the line as three-and-a-half-point favorites. This will mark the first meeting between these two programs as football bowl subdivision opponents, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the contest. Bowling Green comes into this game with plenty of experience, particularly at the quarterback position, where senior Connor Bazelak leads the charge. Bazelak brings a wealth of experience from his time playing in the Southeastern Conference and Big Ten, making him a seasoned veteran at the highest levels of college football. He has not only proven his ability on the field but has also shown leadership in high-stakes games, including last season's tight matchup against Michigan, where Bowling Green trailed only 14-6 at halftime before eventually falling short. The Falcons have a history of rising to the occasion against Power 5 opponents, as demonstrated by their 2021 upset of Minnesota and other competitive performances against top-tier teams. The Mid-American Conference, known for producing unexpected upsets in college football, has already made headlines this season. Toledo's dominant win over Mississippi State and Northern Illinois' shocking victory over No. 5 Notre Dame are prime examples of the Mid-American Conference's ability to challenge bigger programs. Bowling Green, while considered underdog, has shown time and again that they are capable of competing at a high level. Meanwhile, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical finds itself in a delicate situation at quarterback. With starter Connor Weigman out due to injury, freshman Marcel Reed stepped up and led the Aggies to a road win over Florida last week. While Reed's performance was commendable, it's important to remember that he is still relatively inexperienced, which could present challenges as the season progresses. Bowling Green, despite being without one of their key players, managed to push Penn State to the brink in a road game and now has had two full weeks to prepare for this contest. Led by the experienced Bazelak, the Falcons have shown they are capable offensively and won't be faced by the intimidating atmosphere of Texas Agricultural and Mechanical's Kyle Field. The Aggies, despite being a strong team, have had moments of inconsistency, as seen in their struggles against Notre Dame and periods of uninspired play against Florida. Overlooking a Mid-American Conference opponent is always risky, especially given the Falcons' near upset of Penn State and Northern Illinois' stunning win over Notre Dame. While the Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies have the talent to run up the score, they are still dealing with some uncertainty at quarterback and are coming off a big emotional road win. This could potentially be a letdown spot for them. Historically, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical has struggled as heavy favorites, going 5-7 against the spread in their last 12 games as a favorite of 20 or more points. Conversely, Bowling Green has performed well in similar situations, boasting a 5-1-1 record at in their last 7 games as underdogs of 20 or more points. Although Bowling Bowling Green may not have the defense to completely stymie Texas Agricultural and Mechanical. Their offense has shown enough promise to suggest they can put some points on the board. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical is likely to win this game, but covering a spread of more than three touchdowns may be too steep a challenge. Therefore, the Bowling Green Falcons to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Bowling Green enters this contest having split their first two games of the season. In their season opener, they stayed under the total in a home win over Fordham, combining for 58 points, just below the projected total of 61. They followed that up with a 61-point total in their road loss to Penn State, exceeding the projected number of 51.5 points. On the other side, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical has gone over the total in two of their three games this season. The Aggies surpassed the over in their home win against McNeese, posting 62 two points compared to the line of 56, and again in their road victory over Florida, totaling 53 points against a projected 46. 
However, they fell short of the over in their season opening loss to Notre Dame, with a total of 36 points against a projection of 47 and a half. Given these trends, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.